Hello everyone and welcome back to Kona. So, I have actually been doing some reconnaissance outside of the game and I'll tell you what. Uh, I've gone around, I got all of the talismans, I have no idea if that makes a difference. I tried to find all the treasure maps, I haven't found all of them because one is like beyond the wall, the ice wall, and um, I need to... Um, we need to remove the wall. But in the last episode, like you might remember, we did um, get this very warm coat, as you could see there, for a bit. And uh, that was very helpful. I'm just gonna heal up, because I'm not sure if there's gonna be an action sequence there. But I feel like we should take some painkillers. Just so that we are almost at full health. So, where we need to go is the ice wall. And I think we'll go in the car for once. It's to the left, I think, maybe? Like, one of the best things about this is, is that um, when you're changing, uh, like when you close down the game, and then you start again, you actually have the car and uh, the snowmobile in one area, which is really handy. So we need to do this um, before we can proceed past the wall. Now, I know for a fact that it will turn night, so that will be interesting to see how that works out. Reminds me of Fatal Frame with the photos. Oh, this is giving me claustrophobia. Do you guys have that? Like, you, f you don't like... Completely dark. Great photo. Is there logs here? I'll assume no. Can't find any logs. Unless there's any nearby. I'm gonna take out the hatches. Or, yeah. Because if there's a wolf here. <laughs> the wolf fell into the floor. Seems like the elements showed mercy to those nice and solid looking planks. We're definitely heading in somewhere. Can barely see where I'm going. I guess for your sake I should like use the the flashlight, but meh. So you use the flashlight a bit. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to take a photo of this in one, no? Another instance of this magic ice. What was this one doing? Lying on the ground, so afraid. The plot thickened like water into ice. A sudden cold snap struck Carl, who felt like he was pulled into a dream. Aren't we in a dream? I want to get out. He felt no. Huh? He had been chased. running in fear from something creeping towards him, against which he couldn't do anything. Only to end up like this, petrified and cold. Mm. So we're... I guess we continue following this? Oh, uh, this... Okay. 
Okay, this is interesting. Oh, he had a... Wow. Trouble about having everything you need to live in here. What is he trying to do? It seemed King as though Regin had been ready to take June. up arms and slay people like Hamilton. Could he have committed murder for his cause? Who could have gotten killed in front of his very eyes? I guess I'll let you read this. Um, so pause the video if you wanna, uh, you know, read it. So only punched a mirror and that made his hand bleed. Oh, so that's why the mirror was punched. So we need that for the you might remember it. The 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 Why sleep at home when you sleep in a cave? Good enough reason, I guess. Oh, interesting. Um, we remember La Chance. He said there was a cave, the natural cave that collapsed. That was um. That's what we're gonna use the dynamite for, I guess. Because now we can go back. Carl suddenly felt observed. He was worried about a presence around him. Oh. What presence would that be? Run. Damn. No stone can withstand the force of dynamite. I mean, I completely actually missed, I think, the rifle that was up there. So, I because I knew it wasn't gonna be a rifle, but I was like, can't find it. Yeah, how did I miss that one? lot of questions none of us know. Yeah, it's definitely scarier driving around in the dark. Like, what happened? Why is it dark all of a sudden? So let's step out. It's cold. So let's hurry here. Let's hurry to see the thingy that we need to see. So we later on can heat up. Ice wall. Yeah, here's a vision. Probably a two. third phantom gently faded away. Carl noticed that as the cursed villagers finally left reality, he could feel a sense of unburdening exuding from them in an almost intimate way. The last phantom 
lost in solitude up until now. Joined the others in the forest's darkness. Yeah. Free at last to enjoy an eternal, well-deserved slumber. Carl was only beginning to understand the horror which had struck this village. He understood that the dead were piling up and that he couldn't help them by himself. The road was clear for him. He needed to push further north and fast to find help. Another diary. Carl felt like someone was trying to communicate with him. Or was it simply the result of happenstance? I don't care at this point, I just need wood. The beast has outwitted me. It is aware that I know all of its weaknesses. It is aware of my strength. It is the predator become prey. Through some unknown force, it was able to create a wall made of ice between north and south. The beast did not want to be disturbed. I found a way. It is my destiny to stop it. It is progressing fast. Not stopping even for a moment. What is the beast feeding on? Hate? Cold? Fear? The elders spoke of the Vendigo. They said it would never return. No warrior, they said, would want to invoke Cold it. turned into pain. The elders were wrong. Carl needed to find someplace warm. The Vendigo comes from the Great Spirit. It appears full of hate. With a great thirst for vengeance, the beast, it's, the beast I'm tracking seems to be blinded by hate. Yeah, I can't... I need to get somewhere warm. Carl was becoming increasingly convinced that this was not normal hunting. The game that was being tracked was fearsome. So much so that the hunter didn't dare approach it. What could it be? I'm gonna die soon if I don't get to safety. I feel like I might die. Carl had found what he was looking for. He needed to get back on the road. Dang it. Oh, I died. Great! Great! I don't wanna walk. There's such an achievement where if you don't use any of the vehicles. I wanna go to the northern forest. Oh, so of course here is the wooden stuff that I couldn't find there. Great. Carl reckoned that the place was still inhabited less than 24 hours ago. His detective sense tingled, mm. revealing to him, or was it the strong smell of wilderness in the air, that there were most likely two men. <laughs> two blankets. There were doubtless two people here, Carl reckoned. The jacket was still soaking wet. The poor man had, surely unwillingly, had a taste of the pond's water not too long ago. According to the pay stub, that poor man was Alexandre Blais. Let's start a fire here. So we can get it a bit nice and cozy at least. Such a chasing us. Oh, it actually does that. Oh, huh, that's very interesting. I did not know that. Let's, um, smoke because you know why not but we can't cross burnt cottage that doesn't look good doesn't look good at all The door had been busted down violently, and a burnt smell filled the air. Half of the cabin had been consumed by flames. 
Carl surveyed the chaotic scene, noticing that someone appeared to have intended to use the furniture as bonfire fuel. Carl had no idea how such a mess could have occurred, but he knew it didn't bode well. Seems like the elements showed mercy to those nice and solid looking. So I need hardware, hammer, I think. And planks. Now this is what something I like. That you can use logic to get across. Because, I mean, you could be like, oh, well this part you have to go, like you have to walk alone. There's no reason for you to do that, technically, because you can just, you know, fix the bridge. <laughs> 